Tom here with more Space Engineers, and today it's going to be kind of a relaxing one. We are going to take the new shuttle that has no ability for us to respawn on it, <laughs> and we're going to head back up to our uh, base, our asteroid base, to see if we can pull some materials. Now, I've actually been doing quite a bit of mining. Um, as you can tell, we've been doing, we're still doing the surface scrape, basically pushing that whole thing back as far as possible. But I want to get some resources from off the uh, the asteroid. Alright, so we are going to kick those over, turn off those thrusters, and for some reason. This thing keeps trying to convert to a station. I think it's because it was a, uh, a POI build. But we are going to see if we can get up and out. So we're actually heading that way. So let's go ahead and bring this around. Level it off so we're burning as little fuel as possible. And hopefully, get us going. Now, as you can tell, we do have the deadly reentry atmospheric mod turned on. So, what we're going to have is a situation where basically the back end of this thing has more lift than the front end. Uh, and that's one of the side effects of it because basically all of the blocks have a little bit of aerodynamics on them. Um, so, you'll get a little bit of lift from some blocks. Uh, and I think the ramps might be what's doing it. We don't know. But anyway, this will at least get us up and out of the atmosphere. We can go back, hit the asteroid base. Well, you know, make it to the asteroid base. We don't want to hit it. That would be a bad idea. But what I'm hoping for is that we'll uh, be able to avoid... Hopefully most of the hostile stuff, but we'll see, because this ship does not have shields on it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut. I'll, when we come back, we'll be up at the asteroid base and we'll talk a little bit more about what the, uh, the plans are for today. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we've only got, you know, 43 more kilometers. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. Alright, so we... Uh, are outside of atmosphere just kind of drifting and I'm noticing I don't know if you can see it but there are reflections out here where that crop uh, little point is and you can see some of these reflection areas in other spots as well like there's another one out there and I'm thinking these may actually be this may be wreckage from some of the uh, the hostile ships and things that were out here. And in some cases, you know, the not-so-hostile ships as well. But we had a space station, a trade station, show up. So I figured we would take a little side trip. Go see what they have. It's only a couple of kilometers out of our way. I mean, it's not actually too far out of our way because we're still, you know, roughly getting closer to the, space, the asteroid base. But I am curious about some of the uh, the distortions we're seeing, like that one. Because we did leave with hostiles in the area, and there were a bunch of NPC ships and stuff out here. So I'm wondering if uh, there are things that we can come salvage. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but we're, gonna, we're definitely going to go take a look at that. Alright, let's bring this thing under control. Got the weapon turret set to manual. See if we can... Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, so... I want to be careful on the way in, because if it's got a shield and the shield's up, it may bounce us. It shouldn't, but 
we've seen weirder things happen out here recently. So, uh, looks like the landing pad's over on that side. Yeah. So what we're going to do is let's come in somewhat safely. So while we're doing this, uh, let's talk about what our plans are, because I haven't really talked about that a whole lot today. Looks like it has a shield. Does it have a shield, or are we just running into something I'm not seeing? Yeah, see. We just had we just had something. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Ah. I forgot we don't have gravity on this thing. Okay, so let's Make sure our helmet's closed. Because that would be entertaining. So, yeah, we took a little bit of damage. It's like we... So it looks like we're basically right up and on the shield. Alright, so... Let's head in, let's see what they've got. Do they have anything worth trading for today? And you are the store, okay. Hey, they've got gold ore. Really? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring our, our uh, looted money with us. <laughs> I had been able to just, oh man. Uh, platinum more. Okay, let's do this way. Let's start. From the top down. Wow, Gatling ammo is expensive. Alright. Uh, it's got a bunch of uranium, a bunch of platinum, cobalt, gold, and silver. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to... How much of this can we carry? Actually, are you wanting to buying thing. You're buying gold ingots. But you're selling gold ore. Right, let's set this up. So you're selling the materials you want processed is what it comes down to. This might be worth bringing over the ship buying out like all of the gold and silver processing it and selling it back to them because at a hundred thousand kilograms of any of these things that's a couple of thousand units of uh processed ingot all right so we're gonna make a note of this place It's good to know, and hopefully this place doesn't get nuked by any of the, uh, the AI. Alright, so I can close that off, we'll head back up here. out. We're going to move away. Now one of the reasons I wanted to stop and check and see what they had is because sometimes these guys will have uh, ships 
and I was kind of curious as to if we would find one or not. Uh, specifically one for sale, not, not so much that you get a free one or anything like that. Okay, so we are heading... That is a pirate base, which we are going to avoid. Okay, so... We have a beacon near the base. That is sketchy. Okay. 150 kilometers, right? Not too bad. Or 150 meters a second. So we'll close with this pretty quickly. Mining station two. Let's turn the dampeners on. And let's. I'm seeing what looks like thrusters on that thing. Uh, that I can't tell what the hell is going on with that. What is up with that? Is that the base? That might be the mining base. Let's not get too close. We'll hang out here a minute and see. Yeah, that looks like that might be the mining base that they were referring to. as close as I want to get. I don't want to get too much closer. You've actually got damage. Alright. And let's head down. We'll leave that open. No sense depressurizing it constantly. Okay, it's definitely a mining base. Or a mining station, I guess, would be a better way to say it. Hmm. No gravity. Alright, so... We go something tells me I want to have my rifle ready here. Nothing there. Actually, there's ice in the O2 generator. That might be worth trying to salvage. And we checked here, there's nothing in any of these. engines on fire. That's not a good idea. That's <laughs> oh man, what in the hell oh, hit this place? Let's 
so a single hydrogen engine that looks like oh, that's an interior wall. Okay. Is there anything? That's just... Alright, well, I guess there's not a whole lot in here to try and salvage. I don't know if it's a good thing that there's no survivors in here or not, but... What I'll probably do then is... Maybe we'll bring the, uh, the hug boat over. Let it s and basically let it salvage this thing. All right. Well, I mean, like I said, it's got a bit of ice on it, but I'm not sure that's really worth taking the risk of trying to recapture. All right. So let's. Close that up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll leave that alone for now. But it does mean that we're going to have to <coughs> maybe do something about that in the near future. So since we're out here, let's go ahead and hit the base. I want to check and make sure everything up here is okay. We haven't been up here for a while now. Um, kind of worried about it, actually. Oh, it looks like... I mean, it looks like the entrance is okay. So is a shield, so that's something. All right, and those are the large lasers. Our base isn't shooting at us, so that's a good thing, yeah. It's weird being back up here again. I mean, I've come up like once or twice just for supplies, but I just I always came up through the other side. All right, so do we have room to turn this thing around? I forgot how big this base actually was. <laughs> about everything. Alright, so let's get this thing landed. We'll lock that and turn those off. We have gravity here yet? Yeah, no, we're not in the artificial gravity. Okay. Which is fine. I'll leave that open. I should probably turn the lights off, but 
All right, so we've got gravity here. Okay. Look, it's our little flying wedge. I might need to take that out. I'm going to do some mining. I want to see what we've got resource-wise up here. Just because I'm a little paranoid. It looks like it's okay. Power systems look like they're under nominal load. Constant on the power generation. All right, how much power are you generating? Okay, so smaller reactor. Let's do this. We can put um, just because you never know. Uh, everything looks okay out here. Yeah, I know. I'm just overly, overly cautious sometimes. Maybe paranoid even <laughs> with some of these. Because I just, like I said, we really haven't been back up to the base, like, fully, uh, for quite some time. And since it's the first time coming back in, just want to make sure everything is still okay. Because, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's head in here. This way we know everything is clear. Alright. And then uh, let's take a look at our inventory and see what we actually have up here. We're going to hide empties. Alright, so we have a bunch of supplies. We actually do have gold and silver. I think we'll go ahead and pull the rest of that out. I don't think we really need anything else. I, mean, I guess I could pull the platinum as well. But we have cobalt, we have nickel, we've got silicon and iron and everything. Hmm. So yeah, I think we'll pull the gold and silver that we have. Um don't need any of the vegetables or fruits. We've got all of that. Actually, I think I need cabbage. It's either cabbage or pumpkins I need. So I'll grab a couple of those so we can start growing those on the planet. Oh, and uh, wheat as well. Not the mushrooms. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do then is I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and load up things like our gold and silver. Actually, can I pull that from here? No. All right. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pull all of that out, get it loaded up on our little shuttle. And I think we'll head back from there. Um, I do want to get back down to the planet and get things working. I, wanna, I really want to get that base up and running as soon as possible. But it's nice to know that this base has survived, considering the last time we saw it, we were running away from Reavers. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the routine. 
we're gonna grab this. But on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your week. And uh, we'll see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. <laughs>